Yo, what is up guys? This is Keshav, and today I got an After Effects color correction tutorial for montages. So let me just get started right away. I don't want to delay. So right here we have our clip. Let me just fast forward a little bit to the gun part. Just uh, do that. All right. So, so let's see, where's our clip? Um, let's get a, okay, get it right there. So what you want to do, you want to start off with curves. Curves is a very standard thing that many people do for color corrections. Very standard. Uh, there we go. Curves. All right. So what you want to do is you have this Roy G. Biv thing right here, RGB, and you just take make a little S shape, a, sm a slight S curve. And what that does is it gives contrast to the clip. And you want to do the same thing for the red. And again, that gives contrast for the reds on the color. Now we have this. Now we can see the color correction developing. Now we go for green, do the exact same thing, make the slight S curve. And one thing that's very important to remember is that for color correction, it's all about, for After Effects in general, it's all about experimentation. You must experiment to actually get really good effects and stuff. But anyways, for the blue, just make an opposite S curve. Just do the opposite thing. And now we see this color correction that's developed, kind of developed. And like I was saying, yeah, it's all about experimentation. You have to experiment and see what fits best for the mood of the clip, if you want energetic or a little bit subtle, you know, all that stuff. But anyways, so let's see. Now we want to go into levels. And in levels, here, let me just minimize that. All right. In minim in levels, you want to increase the gamma just a little bit. You don't have to, obviously, but um, it looks kind of cool. just gives this little effect right here. It brightens the clip up a little bit. And then for this output white, de uh, increase it just a bit. So that again makes the whites a little bit brighter and brightens the clip up just a bit, just a tad. And uh, that's all you want to do for levels. And uh, then you want to go to generate. This is um this is something I do sometimes for my clips. I uh, generate a light sweep. And we have this little uh, beam of light right here. It's a cool little beam of light. And what you want to do is you have to... And I'm going to make a border with this light. So let me just turn it uh, 90 degrees. Let me just type in 90. Okay, there we go. Let's see, for color, I'm going to choose a yellow. Yeah, let's go with yellow. There we go. And uh, the intensity, let's make that a little bit brighter. And drag that up. So we have this little top. Uh, the top of the clips has that yellow border on it. And we want to do that for the whole, for all the other sides. So let me just duplicate that bring that down here duplicate it one more time this is very uh i'm just doing this really sloppy i guess uh you should spend obviously a lot more time perfecting this oh uh where is it ah there we go bring that there and i'll duplicate that and bring that there and we have this little uh border right here and then lastly, just create an adjustment layer. That'd be nice. Adjustment layer. And go to the ellipse tool. Double click on ellipse. And we and it already forms a perfect uh, ellipse mask. And what we want to do is go to effect, blur, sharpen, and Gaussian blur. I don't know how you say that. Gaussian, Gaussian, I don't know. So increase the blurriness to whatever th you think is good. And now click subtract. What that does is makes a very blurry edge. Uh, for some clips, that can give a really good effect. And like I said, it's all about the mood and experimentation. I can only tutorials and everything can only teach you so much. Even classes, they can only teach you so much. It's all about you and your experimentation with all the effects. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this color correction. Uh, this is just some stuff. You obviously you can really improve this with keyframing, like maybe take out this while it's in the scope and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this color correction tutorial on After Effects for montages. Uh, subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more uh, tutorials for After Effects. And uh, so, uh, check out my blog and peace out, guys. See ya.